guys just wanted to do my January favourites for you today I haven't worn loads and loads of makeup during January um, I spent a week snowboarding and my skin gets really really dry when it's out on the slope so I sort of have to let it recover um, obviously it's still really sort of dark and grotty in the mornings and I don't want to get out of bed so um, I've been wearing really light makeup uh, for most of the month um, on my holiday I popped into the French pharmacy that was on the resort and everyone knows that French skincare is really really great and um, you can definitely get more of it now in the UK than you can um, you know just a few months ago even um, and I absolutely love micellar cleansers, micellar I don't know how you pronounce them but you know bioderma and that sort of thing um, and they are starting to pop into the shops in UK now but I picked up a couple um, while I was out there and my favourite is this one um, by Uriage. It's got a really actually quite horrible <laughs> smell to it. It smells really kind of herbal, medicinal, um, yeah I, I don't know there's something not great smelling about it but it's really really effective and I really like it. Um, I've not heard of this brand before and apparently it's not even um, that big out in France but yeah if you happen to spot this in a French chemist then really really good um at least as good as bioderma um well worth checking out um now my absolute savior this month um has been from loxitam and it's been their um dry skin moisturizing hand cream now this is just a little sample size you can get a great big tube of it but it's just their classic one that um is really popular and i've ended up with about a million of these as you can see um there's like one on my dressing table, one on my uh, bedside table, there's a couple in the bathroom, there's one in my handbag. Um, so yeah, I got given these and I've had them for months and they're just everywhere and they're so good. Now, I'm probably going to get a smack in the face from some people for saying this, but um, as well as using them on my hands, I use them on my face as well. Just because they are so intensely moisturising and my face skin is so, so dry. It gets really flaky sometimes it's just it can get in a really bad state and when it is bad I will use this um, and it's fantastic so so good and it's really just improved my skin so much so I don't care if you're not supposed to use it on your face it works um, on to nails again I've not been wearing that much nail varnish because of my holiday um, and just because you know my cuticles are really dry and nasty at the moment because of the cold I can't really bother to look after my nails at the moment but I have really been enjoying um, this bad boy from Max Factor and you can kind of see there sort of the greeny goldy um, duochrome there and there's a slight pink shift to it as well it's really really pretty this range of um, nail varnishes from Max Factor is the same one that um, Fantasy Fire is in and they have got some really really amazing colours now I'm not really a big Max Factor fan to be honest but their polishes from this line are really great and this one is so pretty really nice for layering glitters over really nice now onto the few makeup favourites that I do have for this month again I've not been wearing that much makeup like I said um, but my friend sent me this I've been trying to get hold of it for ages and um, this is Whisper of Guilt by MAC and it is a extra I mean, bleh, bleh, bleh. it's an extra dimension skin finish. Um, every time I tried to buy this it was sold out, it was sold out on the website, it was sold out in the store. Um, I eventually remember that they had it in the pro stores and when I went there it was sold out there as well and I was just so upset and we were in the pro store together and she was like oh I've got one you can buy it for me if you want. So thank you Rachel for um, sorting that out for me and it's just so beautiful it's got a lovely design on it which is kind of diminished already it's just a really really gorgeous golden highlight a really glowy so you can see it there it's so nice um, i'm wearing it on my eyelids today and i've been doing it um quite a lot it's nice to wear on the eyelids and then there's a highlighter on the face as well because it kind of all ties in and looks really nice and it just gives such a pretty glow oh i love gold highlighters um, my other favourite highlighter is um, a gold one as well and it's the um, one that Lisa Eldridge brought out for um, number 7 last year. But this is slightly sort of warmer and more metallic so um, it's a bit more of a going out fun highlighter. Like it's a bit more obvious. Really, really nice. Let's see if you can see the sheen. You can kind of see the sheen there. Really, really nice. I just, oh, I love it. I love it. Really glad I got hold of that. Really glad. So I've got another favourite item this month which is from MAC as well and this is one of their Sheen Supremes um, and this is in Insanely It. Um, 
Their names of the Sheen Supremes are kind of stupid actually. And this is a really bright blue base pink. Really glossy, so nice. A slight blue sparkle to it and some fuchsia sparkle in there as well. I'm wearing it today over a MAC Rebel, so it's nice for layering too. So these are kind of the only um, sheer, buttery, um, but pigmented lip colour that I've actually tried and really liked. And I've got a few of these and I really, really enjoy them. Um, yeah, especially at this time of year when, you know, your lips are dry and stuff. Um, yeah, really nice. Insanely, really, really gorgeous colour. Um, I've got a couple of pencils to show you guys. Um, first thing that I've been loving, this has been in my stash for a long, long time. This is one of the Barry M lip liners and the range as a whole are actually really, really good. Um, but I kind of neglect them. I don't know why. Um, I've started to try and use them again because they're all actually really fab. Um, and this is, I'm not sure what the colour name is, but this is 1B1. And it's a red, just a really nice blue base red. Really you know, basic red colour. Um, I've been wearing it with Illamasqua Sangers a lot and it's pretty much a perfect match for that, so that's good. And I think these are only like three or four pound and yeah, they last really, really well. They're not too drying. Um, you can get a really nice fine line with them. They're pretty much everything you'd want in a lip liner, but they're dead, dead cheap. So I definitely recommend checking them out if you need a lip liner. My other favourite pencil this month is by Oon. This is a brand that I've never tried before and when I went into... Um, Boots a few weeks ago, um, all their products were half price, so I don't know if they're not going to be a brand anymore. Um, it was one of those brands which was all natural and organic and boring, but I needed a um, light sort of beigey pencil for the waterline, and I just walked past and saw this. Um, it's kind of a slightly peachy colour, so it's a uh, you know. It's an off-white, it's not stark white. It looks great on the waterline. Obviously, it's supposed to be a concealer pencil. I haven't used it for that because it's too light for me. Um, but this was like £3 on sale. Um, so that saved me from having to go and buy a more expensive um, eyeliner um, in this colour. And, you know, all the eyeliners that actually are this colour are quite expensive. The cheapest that I've found that's available to me is probably from a makeup store, and that's about £8, which isn't too bad. But this was much cheaper and does the job. Uh, last but not least is something that I picked up for my kit and this is a pencil roll. Um, I've been wanting one of these for such a long time. All the ones for makeup artists are obviously black which makes more sense because they're going to get dirty. Um, but all the ones that I could find cost upwards of like 25 quid and I just don't want to pay that for a pencil roll. I think that's really expensive. So I found this one on Amazon and it's about 7 or £8 pounds with shipping and yeah it is cream but I'm either going to dye it or it's a canvas material, so you can just chuck it in the wash, which is kind of cool. Um, and that's what it looks like on the inside. There's about 30 maybe slots in there. And I've got, you know, lip products on one side and um, eye products on the middle. There's um, a couple of really big slots here. I'm not sure what you would use that for. Um, but, you know, it's supposed to be an artist's brush roll and not a makeup artist's brush roll. So perhaps it's for, you know brushes or something really cool um dead cheap does the job rolls up sort of quite quite tightly and small and it's obviously a bit squishy as well so that's nice it fits in the kit really easily yes i would have preferred a black one but i can just chuck this in the wash or dye it because it is just like a material um canvas cover so yeah that's really good um so yeah those are all my favorites for january um, sorry it was a bit boring <laughs> selection this month um, let me know your favourites, give me a link down there and please like and subscribe and all that doodah thanks for watching